unbelievable. This seemingly ordinary piece of pocket change, a 1975 Lincoln cent, fetched over $14,000 at the Great Collections auction. Here's why. This uncirculated, superb specimen was graded Mint State 68 Red by PCGS. The 1907 Lincoln Cent in MS-68 condition is a prized treasure among collectors. Featuring Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse, this coin is a true gem. The red designation means it retains its original coppery luster, showing minimal toning or discoloration. MS-68 indicates a nearly flawless coin, with only minor imperfections visible under magnification. This grade is extremely rare for a 1975 cent, as most were either circulated or poorly preserved. The combination of the year, exceptional condition, and red color makes it highly desirable and valuable among numismatists. Pay close attention to the date on this quarter dollar. Do you notice the doubling? If your 1937 Washington Quarter features such die doubling on the date, you possess a highly valuable and sought after U.S. coin. This 1937 Washington Quarter with a double die obverse is graded Mint State 66 by NGC. The date and motto are strongly die doubled on this Cherry Picker's Guide variety. Both sides are brilliantly lustrous, showcasing raised circular lathe lines as made on the obverse. The portrait of Washington and the eagle on the reverse exhibit full definition. Bill Fivaz and J.T. Stanton consider the 1937 FS-101 DDO quarter one of the most important in the series. This rare specimen sold for an impressive $7,800 at Heritage Auctions. The U.S. Mint was in cost-cutting mode following World War II, and this is evident in the generally poor quality of its coinage from the 1950s. The 1951 P dime is a typical example. While plentiful in mint state, it is rarely found with sharp strikes from fresh dyes. Fortunately, enough rolls were set aside at the time, providing today's collect collectors with a large pool to search for gems. Though fairly common up to MS-67, there are enough full torch or full band certified pieces to meet the demand of advanced collectors. Recently, a beautifully toned 1951 dime graded Mint State 68 sold for $456 at Heritage Auctions. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more numismatic treasures. Share your thoughts and let us know if you have any rare coins in your collection. Stay tuned for more exciting coin discoveries and valuable insights. Thanks for watching. This is a fascinating error coin, a 1966 Kennedy half dollar struck on a Washington quarter planchette, graded Mint State 65, MS 65 by NGC. Washington faces south relative to Kennedy's portrait and portions of In God We Trust from the undertype are visible on Kennedy's neck. The lightly toned surfaces show minimal marks. The 1966 Kennedy half dollar struck on a Washington quarter planchette is a notable mint error making it highly collectible and valuable. This unusual error occurs when a planchette intended for a quarter mistakenly receives the Kennedy half dollar design. The high grade and preservation quality, combined with the striking error, make this coin a fascinating example of mint anomalies, appealing to collectors who seek rare and unique pieces. Its rarity and condition significantly enhance its desirability and market value. This error half dollar was sold for $3,600 at Heritage Auctions. With America preparing for the possibility of entering World War II, defense industries received lucrative contracts that significantly boosted production. The Great Depression ended in 1941 amid rising economic activity and employment, leading to a substantial increase in coin mintages. The Philadelphia Mint more than doubled its output of quarter dollars to an unprecedented level for this denomination. This issue was widely saved in rolls, uh, making examples very common in mint state. Gems are plentiful up to MS-67, but these grades don't always reflect worn or over-polished dyes. This particular specimen, graded mint state 68 by PCGS, showcases frosty, luminous mint luster with delicate rose gold color and blue-green, olive, and lavender highlights around the borders. Its eye appeal matches its numeric grade, and it was sold for $8,700 at Heritage Auctions. Here's another rare error specimen, a 1976 S. Jefferson Nickel struck on a scent planche, 
graded PR63 Red Ultra Cameo by NGC. This error coin weighs 3.1 grams. The strike is razor sharp and the deeply mirrored fields retain their original copper red color. The depth of contrast between the fields and devices is profound with a few toning flecks on the obverse con contributing to the PR63 grade. The strike is off center towards three o'clock. While Liberty and the date are fully struck, much of In God We Trust runs off the flan. This error nickel, a fascinating piece of mint history, was sold for over $2,600. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more numismatic treasures. Share your thoughts and let us know if you have any rare coins in your collection. Stay tuned for more exciting coin discoveries and valuable insights. Thanks for watching. This is a remarkable 1976 S bicentennial proof quarter struck on a nickel planchette with clashed obverse and reverse dies, creating a double error. Despite part of Liberty running off the flan, the word remains readable. The coin's sharp detail and frosted devices provide pleasing contrast with the mirrored fields. The 1976 S Bicentennial Washington Quarter struck on a nickel planchette is an extraordinary mint error, notable for its rarity and unique characteristics. This coin, intended to commemorate the United States Bicentennial, typically features a special reverse design with a colonial drummer. However, this particular specimen was struck on a nickel planchette, which is smaller and has a different composition than the intended copper nickel clad quarter planchette. Additionally, the coin exhibits strong clashed dies on both the obverse and reverse, where impressions of the dies are mistakenly transferred to the opposing sides. This combination of errors makes it a highly sought after piece among collectors for its historical significance and unusual features. This error coin was sold for over $4,000. Here, we have one of the most popular error coins in modern U.S. coinage, the 1955 Lincoln Cent with a double die obverse. This specimen is graded mint state 64, red and brown by PCGS and proven by CAC. The SIAC endorsement adds to the appeal of this near gem red and brown double die scent. Its luminous satin luster yields hues of gold, amber, steel blue, and chestnut brown. There are no spots to disrupt its appearance and only a few tiny marks are present. The 1955 double die scent was widely searched for in circulation in the 1950s, and today, advanced collectors appreciate the quality of high-end mint state coins. This particular coin was sold for $7,200 on June 14, 2024 at Heritage Auctions. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more numismatic treasures. Share your thoughts and let us know if you have any rare coins in your collection. Stay tuned for more exciting coin discoveries and valuable insights. Thanks for watching.